Amen. 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 Praise Lord. the Lord. Good evening to each and every one of you. Praise God. God. Praise God. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your presence here tonight. We thank you for your son, Jesus, your only begotten son, our Lord and Savior. We thank you for our salvation by and through his blood, by the new and better covenant, better promises. We stand before you tonight by the power of the Holy Spirit. May there be a demonstration of the Holy Spirit of God for your name's sake, for your word's sake, for your people's sake. Father, that I come boldly to the throne of grace tonight to ask for help in my time of need. I thank you for victory in the word tonight, for without you we can do nothing. Praise Lord that your word will give us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, that we find comfort, edification, and encouragement in your word. We thank you for our heart to receive, a mind to understand, Father God, the word we're about to hear tonight. And as we walk this word, we be doers of this word, we bring glory, honor, and praise to your name. We thank you for rebuking the devourer for our sake tonight, that we can hear your still, small voice. In Jesus' name, let the people of God say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Good evening to each and every one of you here tonight. Each and every one of you here on social media, we thank God for you again for watching and listening and encouraging uh, us in the Word. Amen. We find ourselves again in this expository teaching in the book of Hebrews, and we find ourselves in chapter 12. Find your spot, Hebrews chapter 12. Praise God. Amen. As we're, looking, as we're looking into chapter 12, we're now at verse 14. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. But this chapter follows chapter 11, and it reminds us of the great cloud of witnesses. Amen? Yes. It says in verse 1 that we have a great cloud of witnesses that have gone on before us, great men and women of God. Amen? And, they, and, and we are to follow them, amen, is, and lay aside every weight and every sin, every weight and the sin, forgive me, and the sin is rejecting Christ. And we know one of the themes of this book of Hebrews is that Jewish Christians, amen, uh, men who are still rejecting Christ, they want to maintain the Mosaic law and the Levitical priesthood system and the ordinances and the dietary laws and the new moon and the Sabbath, amen? And rejection of Christ is the sin. Praise the Lord. It tells us in verse 2 that we are going to look unto Jesus, who's the author and finisher of our faith. Amen? And that for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. Thank God that his son endured the cross. Why? How did he endure the cross? Amen. It continues in verse 2 that he knew that he came from God. He was returning to God. Amen. He came from heaven and he was returning to heaven. Amen. It tells us in the gospel that he, it, he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. Yeah. Therefore, he was able to, amen, endure the cross, despising the shame. Amen. And he sat down at the right hand of God. Amen. And so we are to consider him, verse 3, as we run this race, we're looking unto him, we consider him that endured. He endured. Christ endured, tempted in all points, but was yet without sin. He was tempted by the great tempter, amen, himself, in Matthew chapter 4. So we are to consider him in our walk, amen? amen? When we are tired and weary and uh, lukewarm, amen, and uh, 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 we need to consider him, Christ, mm -hmm. for our encouragement. We're looking unto him. We consider him in verse 3 that endures such a contradiction of sinners against himself, amen? Jew, Gentile. The Roman government, the common man, such a contradiction of sinners that were against, against him who he came into the world to seek and to save those who were lost. Amen. And we all were lost. Amen? Yes. So let us consider him. Saints, I want to encourage you to consider him in your walk with, with, with Christ. Consider Christ. It will encourage you. Meditate on the things that he endured for you and I when you are weary and consider fainting in your, fainting in your mind. Yes, Amen? Amen? I want to encourage you to consider him. Verse 4 says, why, why should we consider him? 
You have not yet resisted unto blood. We have not resisted. We have not shed blood unto sin. But praise God that his son Jesus allowed his blood to be shed Amen. for the forgiveness of sin, for a new and better covenant, better promises. Amen. But we have not yet resisted unto blood, yet resisted. There will come a day and a time in the last of the last days, some of us will have to resist unto blood. We can't deny Christ. We can't commit the sin and deny Christ. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Verse 5 says, and you have forgotten the exhortation. Let's not forget the encouragement that we once had in the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. How do you not forget? Consider him. Go back to verse 3. Consider him. Now, amen. Verses 5 through hmm, 11 speaks of the discipline, the chastisement, the training of the Lord, amen, mm -hmm. for his sons, for his daughters. He, the Bible tells us to despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him, amen, because he chastens us for our own profit. You know what it says in verse, amen, uh, 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 10, he chastens us for our own profit and for us to be partakers of his holiness. Amen. 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 So it's very important how we respond to the chastening of the Lord. Amen. Amen. To his discipline. To his correction. Amen. We can uh, accept it with, with resignation or we can uh, accept it with self-pity and thinking we don't deserve it. It's very important how you accept the chastening of the Lord. We can accept it and, amen, be angry and resentful towards God. Or we can accept it graciously. Praise the Lord. We can accept the chastening of the Lord graciously, amen. amen. And allow the chastening of the Lord to accomplish God's purpose. And what is that? That we profit from it, it says in verse 10, and that we become partakers or partners of his holiness. Amen? amen? So let us, amen, as children of God, understand that the Lord's chastening proved that we are his son. And verse 6 says, he scourges every son whom he receives. No, no matter what your position, mm -hmm. no matter what your title, your length of service, the Lord chastened every son whom he received. Amen? Amen. So let us endure. As he, as he dealt with us with some. Look at verse 7. If you endure chastening, God dealing with you as with some. Amen? Amen? And the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 8 and verse uh, 16 that we are what? We are Heirs with God, amen. God dealing with us the son. Go to go to Romans 8. We need to look at that. I can quote it, amen, but I want some may not have seen this or haven't seen it in a while. God dealing with us as sons, amen. 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 The Bible says in Romans chapter 8. The last phrase of verse 15. Let's look at that. But ye have received the spirit of adoption. See? We have received the spirit of adoption. Amen? Yeah. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father. He deals with us as sons because we have his Holy Spirit. Amen? That, that seals us. Amen? Yeah. The Spirit himself, verse 16. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. God's Holy Spirit living on the inside of each and every one of us. God dealing with us as sons because the Spirit lives and dwells in us. Amen? Amen. And if children, God dealing with us as sons, listen now, listen to this reward. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and join heirs with Christ. Amen? Amen. When you, God deal with us as sons, 
it may be chest chasm, but yet we still we're heirs with God and joint heirs with Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Look at uh, Galatians chapter 3 and verse 29. The last verse of Galatians 3 and 29. And it says, and if you be Christ, then are you Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. God deals with us as sons, as heirs according to the promise. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We, saints, we are to understand God dealing with us as sons. We are in the family of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's a, 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 a blessing in itself. That God deals with us as sons. Amen. Now go back to chapter 12 of Hebrews. And verse 7. If you endure the chastening, God deals with you as with some. We must endure the chastening of the Lord. Amen. Amen. We must recognize when it's, it's the Lord uh, chastening us. It's the Lord correcting us, disciplining us, training us. We, the key is recognizing that it's God. Amen. So that we can, amen, graciously accept it. Amen. amen. But if you be without chastisement, verse 8, it says, then are you not sons. You're illegitimate. Mm -hmm. If you don't receive chastisement from God. Amen? Mm -hmm. We should receive chastisement from God because verse 9 speaks to us uh, uh, receiving uh, uh, chastisement, discipline from our earthly fathers. Mm -hmm. Fathers of the flesh, they correct us. Amen? Mm -hmm. And we gave them reverence. Well, Shall we not much more be in subjection or in submission unto the Father of spirits and live? Yes, we should be in subjection. We should be in submission to his discipline, his training, his correction. Amen? Mm -hmm. And live for him. And live a life that makes a difference. A life that Makes a legacy, a life that where the, the word of God he can say, amen, at the spoke of David, that he served his generation. Did, did, God, did the father chastise David? Oh, yeah, David was mightily chastised. Amen. But he wrote Psalm 51, amen. And he wrote Psalm 32. He recognized it was the, the hand of God, amen. And he graciously accepted his chastisement, amen. For when his son died, David got up. Mm -hmm. David did not blame God. Job did not charge God foolishly. Mm -hmm. When we accept the chastisement of God, when we, when we remember and, and consider him, we will not charge God foolishly mm -hmm. in the midst of his chastisement. Amen? Mm -hmm. Let us be in submission to the Father, saints, and to the word of God. Obey his commandment. We love him. Keep his commandments. Amen. Mm -hmm. Now look at verse 10. For they verily, the chastisement of God, for a few days chasing us after their own pleasure, speaking of, of the flesh of the fathers. Mm -hmm. But he, God, is he chastised us for our profit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's for your own good. Amen. Mm -hmm. That we might be partakers of his holiness. Be ye holy as I am holy. Amen. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Right? Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised or trained thereby. It brings forth peace and righteousness. Amen. In our life. Yes. The peaceable fruit of righteousness comes from the chastisement of our Father. Amen. So what should we do? Lift up our, our hands, put chain down and our feeble knees we are to, amen, lift them up. Amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Verse 13 and make straight path for your feet. We lift up these hands that hang down and, and, and these feeble knees. How do, we, how do we lift up these hands? How, how do we uh, uh, stand up these feeble knees where we can walk as he walked? Go back to verse 3. 
Consider him. Consider him. He said, take up your cross daily and follow him. Jesus, amen, scourged and beaten so bad, he couldn't carry his own cross to Calvary. They called one, amen, from the side to carry his cross for him. Consider him. When you want to, amen, when your, uh, 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 your hands are hanging down and your knees are, are feeble, you, you don't have the strength to go on any longer. Consider him that had to carry his own cross after being scourged and made straight paths for your feet. Amen? Mm -hmm. Jesus is our forerunner. He has made our path straight for us. Let us follow him into the holiness of God. Amen? Mm -hmm. He's gone in once into the holy place and offered his blood for you and I. He's made the path straight for us. Let us stay on the straight and the narrow. Amen. Let that which is lame be turned out of the way. Let's not be lame, lukewarm, lukewarm, immature Christian and believers. Amen? But the Bible tells us those of us who are strong in the faith, amen, to support and burden, carry one another's burdens. You know what the Bible says? And we find ourselves now in verse 14. Amen. Hebrews 12 and 14. So what are we to do now? Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. We must what? Follow, pursue peace with all men and holiness without which no man, wow, shall see the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now this peace was spoken of in Isaiah 9 and 6. You can write it down without going there. It was prophesied in Isaiah 9 and 6. And he's identified as the Prince of Peace. This son that is given unto us. Amen. He's the Prince of Peace. In Luke chapter 2 and verse 14, as the angels came and spoke to the shepherds in the field, amen. Mm -hmm. In Luke 2, 14, it reads, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace. Because the Christ is here now. Mm -hmm. Christ is here now. And we have to do what? Follow peace. In order to follow peace with all men, we must follow the Prince of Peace, the King of Peace. Amen? Mm -hmm. He brought peace to the earth. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace. Amen? Mm -hmm. And goodwill toward men. I want to encourage you to say that following peace, amen, is following Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen? That word peace means to, amen, to be in harmony and tranquility, to be in safety, to be welfare, to be in welfare and, amen, and good health. That word peace in the strong concordance. It means having peace with God. Amen? It means we have, amen, uh, 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 it's a lack of strife in your life or it's a, a, a reconciliation in a relationship. And we have this peace with God because of the blood of Jesus. Amen? He's our propitiation, the Bible tells us in uh, uh, 1 John chapter 2. So we have this peace with God that we're now able to follow all men and be at peace with all men because we have the peace with God and the peace of God. Amen? Do you have that peace? That peace means harmony, being in harmony with God and man. Jesus, the Bible says, well, he found favor with what? God and man. 
because he was at peace with God. He found favor with God and man. So we, we are to have harmony and peace and tranquility with God and man. Praise the Lord. This reconciliation we have is because of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That we can have this peace now. But we once, we did not have that peace because of sin. Amen. But we have peace now. We know that we are forgiven. Amen. Mm -hmm. We know that Jesus' blood has, amen, uh, 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 cleansed us from all of our sin. Amen. Mm -hmm. And, and it is never to be, amen, remembered no more. So we have peace with God. So we can consider him. And therefore we can have, follow peace with all men. When you consider the Lord, when you consider the Lord, you will attempt to have peace with all men. He said the Bible tells us to what? Even love our enemies. So we're going to have peace with what? All men. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, we're going to look at some scriptures tonight concerning peace as it pertains to, the, to the, the Father, the Son, and how it applies to our life and how we are to follow this peace. Amen? Yeah. We can't follow, amen, peace with all men without having peace with God. Yeah. The peace of God and peace with God. When we have peace, the peace of God and peace with God, we can follow all men. We can have peace with all men. Amen? Because if we want to take vengeance into our own hands. Look at Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5. And verse, verse 9. Jesus teaching in the Beatitudes. What our attitude should be. Sermon on the Mount. Matthew 5 and 9, are you there? Yep. And it reads, blessed, happy, divinely favored are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. See, as sons, he treats us as sons, as heirs, co-heirs with the Father and with Christ. Mm -hmm. Blessed, divinely favored are the peacemakers. Are you a peacemaker? Are we peacemakers, amen? For they should be called the children of God. Children of God, saints, amen, holy ones, we are what? Peacemaker, because our father, he's the king of peace, he's the prince of peace, amen? He has brought peace to this earth, even as a child. Luke 2, 14, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, and it was referred to Jesus, amen? We're in Matthew 5. Now let's look at verse 23. Having peace with all men is important to the Father. It's important to our Lord and Savior, amen? Because the Bible says in Matthew 5 and 23, therefore if thou bring thy gift to the altar and thou rememberest that thy brother hath all against thee, has something against you, mm -hmm. leave thou thy gift before the altar, go thy way, first be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Amen? Mm -hmm. We are to have what? Peace with God and peace with man. We are to what? Follow peace with all men. Do you see that? Following peace with all men will magnify and glorify our Lord and Savior. We can't be the one who uh, start trouble, mm -hmm. spread rumors and lies and slander. Mm -hmm. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they, amen, shall be called the children of God. When you are a peacemaker, mm -hmm. when, when you know your brother has uh, something against you, amen, we take the initiative. Leave there thy gift before the altar. Go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer thy gift. Thy following peace. Mm -hmm. That's a pattern. That's an example. That's in the scriptures. Amen? Mm -hmm. 
in Romans 5, Romans 5 and 1. Romans 5 and 1. Follow peace with all men. We got to learn tonight about peace. This peace that, amen, passes all understanding. This peace that comes from the Father and the Son, amen? Mm -hmm. Romans 5 and 1, therefore being justified by faith. We're justified. Mm -hmm. We're not condemned anymore. Being justified by faith, we have peace with God. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Amen. Because we're justified by faith. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Who we have peace with? We have peace with God. And because we have peace with God, we follow peace with all men. Amen? Amen. Because he sent his only begotten son into the world to, amen, uh, uh, bring peace into our life. Amen. To reconcile us, to restore us unto him. Therefore, we should, amen, follow peace with all men. Amen. When we were what? Ungodly and without strength and sinners and at enmity against God. He sent his son to, to die for the ungodly, to die for the sinner, to die for those of us without strength. Amen? amen. That we can be reconciled. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Here we go. Here we go. Had a little malfunctioning. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I need a I need a mic. I need, I need a mic. Can, can you get it to work? Let me try another one. What about the rebel? There you go. Amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Now, Romans 5 and 1, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. No man comes to the Father but by me. You know what Jesus said? We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. No man comes to the Father, saints, until you have, amen, this peace with God through Jesus Christ. Amen? amen. We've been reconciled and restored again into fellowship and, re and what? A uh, relationship. So we got to follow peace with all men. Do you have do you have someone you need to go and amen and, and, and sit down with and talk with? Are you amen following peace with all men? Amen. Mm -hmm. Have you left some church hurt at another church? Amen. Do you have some church hurt where the Bible tells us, Amen, we ought to follow peace with all men? Mm -hmm. The Bible tells us that, Amen, and we know that we have all against our brothers or if our brother have all against us, we are to leave our gifts at the altar, go and reconcile our way, uh, ourselves back to one another, be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Amen? Amen. amen. Is it possible that you you offer your gift and not returning, amen, uh, uh, um, the fruit you desire because uh, 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 you have it all against your brother. Amen. Don't allow, amen, your fruit to die. Amen. On the vine. If you have all against your brother, go and follow and make peace with your brother. Amen. That your gifts, that your offerings, amen, could bring forth a harvest. Amen. Amen. Look at the gospel of Of John. Gospel of John. John 14. The Gospel of John 14 and verse 27. 
the Gospel of John 14 and 27. We're talking about, amen, this peace. Now, these passages and these verses that I'm sharing with you, I looked them all up in the uh, Strong's um, Greek concordance, and they all have that same number lettering, mean the same thing, amen? Mm -hmm. So I'm not taking it out of context. We must, amen, follow peace with all men. And Jesus said in verse 27, John 14 and 27, what did Jesus say? Peace I leave with you. Mm -hmm. Amen? What, what is he with us? Harmony, mm -hmm. safety, health. He's leaving us peace with God. Amen. The peace of God. He, he's leaving with us. Amen. Our reconciliation. Amen. Back into a relationship with the Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. He said, peace I leave with you. My peace. How many of you know there's a, there's a different type of peace? Mm -hmm. My peace I give unto you. Mm -hmm. See, did he loan it to us? Mm -hmm. Did we have to earn it mm -hmm. by our works? Mm -hmm. No, he, he gives us this peace. Mm -hmm. He gives us the peace that we can, amen, follow peace with all men. My peace I give unto you. He gave his life for us, amen. Mm -hmm. And he leaves us this peace. I give this peace unto you. Not as the world give it, give out to you. The world give you peace when you had the right credit score. <laughs> amen? The world give, a, amen, when you had the right numbers in your bank account. My peace I give unto you, not as the world give it, give out to you. The world give you peace and I take it back. So let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Amen. Because we have the peace of God and the peace with God that comes through Jesus Christ, and he has given it unto us. Amen. Let not your heart be troubled, and neither let it be afraid. If we want to walk as Jesus walked, we can't, amen, allow our hearts to be troubled. Amen. amen. Jesus says in, in John 16 and 33, These things have I spoken unto you, that in you, I'm sorry, that, it, that in me you might have what? Peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, you shall have trouble, but be of a good cheer. Mm -hmm. I have overcome the world. Mm -hmm. See, that's peace. And we can follow peace with all men. But, amen. Even though we might take a, 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 a fall, we might have to amen, get a, make, take some losses in this world. But Jesus said, be of a good cheer. I have overcome the world. Because Satan didn't have nothing in him. Amen. Go back to 14 now. John 14 and 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I, I give with you. I give unto you. So let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. You have heard how I said unto you, I go away and I come again unto you. Amen. Mm -hmm. See, that, that's what gives us peace. Amen. I go away, but I'm coming again. Yes, sir. If you love me, you will rejoice. See, the joy of the Lord should be our strength. Mm -hmm. We should rejoice that he's returning. That will give us this what? This peace. To follow all men. For we know that, amen, we are children of the day. And we're children of the light. And he's returning again, amen? amen. And we're going to meet the Lord in the air in the twinkling of an eye, amen? amen? If you love me, you will rejoice. Because I said I go unto the Father. For my Father is greater than I. Amen. Hmm. Praise the Lord. Do you have that peace? That you know that the our Lord and Savior, He's going to the Father and He's coming again, and that He has given us this peace. He's given us this peace that we can follow peace with all men, with all the saints, amen? amen. With all the brethren, with everyone who we meet. Be of a good cheer. I have overcome the world. The world is, we can see the world is in a mess. Mm -hmm. But be of a good cheer.
Because our Lord and Savior has overcome the world. He has overcome the wicked one. Amen. In Romans. Well, let me go to John 20 before I go to Romans. After the resurrection. Jesus is resurrected now. Amen. Mm -hmm. This is his resurrection. After the resurrection. Look at John chapter 20 and verse 19. In verse 18, Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord. Mm -hmm. And they had spoken these things unto her that he was going to his father and their father and to his God and my God. Amen? So in verse 19 it reads, being the same day at evening after Mary Magdalene told them, mm -hmm. being the first day of the week, Sunday, mm -hmm. when the doors were shut, whether the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews. They wouldn't have a church. They were assembled for fear, mm -hmm. being afraid of the Jews. Mm -hmm. Came Jesus and stood in the midst mm -hmm. and said unto them, what? Peace be unto you. Peace be unto you. What the first word he spoke to them? Peace be unto you. Follow peace with all men. They, they, they are afraid. They are summoned together out of fear from the who? Weren't they Jews? See, in the last days, Father's going to turn against 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 sons, sons against their father, mothers against their daughters, and vice versa, amen? Mm -hmm. They are assembled together for fear of their own people. But Jesus appeared and his first word to them was, peace be unto you. God. Do you see that? Look at verse 20. And when he had said, uh, so said, he showed them his hand and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 21. Then said Jesus to them again. What did he say? Peace, Peace mm -hmm. be unto you. God. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus wants to follow this peace. Follow peace with all men. Follow, we have peace with God by and through Jesus Christ. We have the peace of God. Amen? Mm -hmm. By and through Jesus Christ. Look at verse 26. Now we know Thomas on that assembly. But he came in. Jesus returned. And in verse 26, eight days later, his disciples, the Lord's disciples were Within and Thomas with them, then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst. And what did he say? Peace, Peace be unto you. Okay, Jesus is making a point here. Mm -hmm. Our Lord and Savior is making a point here. We, we, we got to have this, this peace I give unto you. See, sometimes we have to be reminded of this peace we have that has been given unto us by our Lord and Savior. By his victory at Calvary, we had his peace. Peace be unto you, my sister. Peace be unto you, my brother. But when we worry, fret, when Philippians tells us to think on these things, we, we've lost our peace. And, and we're to pray about these things. Let's look at it. Philippians uh, chapter 4. I don't jump the head, but okay, let's go. Philippians 4, we shall have peace. And verse 6, we should be careful for nothing. Don't be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, there it is again. See, we have peace with God. 
the peace of God. When you, when you let your request be made known unto God in prayer, you have, amen, the Father, you have the Son praying for you at the right hand of the Father. We have the Holy Spirit praying, praying for those things that we know not what we ought to have prayed for. You know what the Bible says? And once we pray, the peace of God, with pain of all understanding, shall keep your hearts and mind through Jesus Christ. Amen. It's got to go through Jesus Christ. Yes. Your prayers must go through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Let's pray his promises. Let's pray, pray his will. Mm -hmm. You know what he said when he taught the prayer? Pray, my kingdom come, my will be done. Mm -hmm. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Look at verse 8. <laughs> Finally, brother, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, right. if there be any praise, think on these things or keep on thinking. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 9. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do and the God of peace shall be with you. Amen. See, see, we, we see follow peace with all men, but we must begin that, that following with the Father mm -hmm. and with the Son. We can't follow peace with all men if we have an amen uh, 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 understanding that we have uh, through Jesus Christ, we have peace with God and the peace of God. And then when it comes to following peace with all men, we got to consider him the one who, amen, uh, uh, reconciled us to the Father and brought us this peace, amen? amen. For the way of the sin was death. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. So after his resurrection, I've given you three examples mm -hmm. in chapter 20. Amen. Mm -hmm. That the word that Jesus spoke to him was, peace be unto you. Peace be unto you in verse 19. Peace be unto you in verse 21. Peace be unto you in verse 26. John chapter 20 and verse 19, 21, and 26, mm -hmm. three times Jesus said, peace be unto you. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to Romans. Fourteen. Follow peace with all men. And our forerunner of peace is Jesus. Because he went once into the holy place and offered his blood for you and I. We brought us what? Peace mm -hmm. with God. Because our sins and iniquity and that transgression were forgiven. So we follow peace. Follow Christ. Mm -hmm. Romans 14, did I say? Yes. And verse 17. What is peace? What is the kingdom of God? Romans 14 and 17. For the kingdom of God it's not meat and drink. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. It's not about what you eat and following dietary laws. It's not. The kingdom of God is not by works. Yeah. It's not of meat and drinks, but righteousness. Peace. Do you see that word? Oh, yeah. Is this the kingdom of God? Righteousness. And who's the righteous? Who's the Lord of our righteousness, the Bible tells us. Mm -hmm. So the kingdom of God is Righteousness, peace, amen. Mm -hmm. The Prince of Peace, Jesus, Isaiah 9 and 6. He's our righteousness and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the, the kingdom of God, amen. And what do we find there for tonight? Peace. Yeah. It's not meat and drink. You need, you're, not, you're not entering the kingdom of God based upon uh, whether you eat certain types of food or not. Amen? Yes, okay, let's go on reading. 
The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that in these things serve with Christ is acceptable to God. Let me read that again. For he that in these things, what things? Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. If you serve, if you serve Christ in those things, you are pleasing to God. You are acceptable to God. That's why we are to follow peace with all men. We are acceptable to God and what? And approved of men. Approved of men. See, so I don't hear saints say, I don't care what they think. As long as my father know. As long as Jesus know. But we are ambassadors of Christ. Jesus had favor with, the Bible says Jesus had favor with God and man, did it not? How can we turn, how can we be an instrument for righteousness for God when we, when we don't care what they think? I know I'm serving God. I'm doing what God tells me to do. Well, we need to, amen, do what God tells us to do and make it where it's pleasing to God and approved of men. For we are to follow peace with what? All men. Look at verse 19. Let us therefore follow after the things that make for peace. Mm -hmm. And then where well, one may edify another. Do you know what makes peace? Well, what may make peace for one brother mm -hmm. may not make peace for the other brother mm -hmm. or for the other sister. Mm -hmm. You got we gotta understand we're gonna follow after the thing which make peace, amen. Not just for a group, mm -hmm. but for individuals also. Amen? Amen. Hmm. That what? It can build one up. We can we may edify another. Mm -hmm. See, following peace, amen, making peace, it, it, it builds up another. Amen? Mm -hmm. Look at chapter 15, Romans 15. Romans 15 and verse 33. Romans 15 and 33 and it reads very short verse. Not a God of peace <laughs> be with you all. Amen. The Apostle Paul is, is beginning his closing now. He said, God of peace be with you all. Jew and Gentile. Mm -hmm. If you understand the book of Romans. We got to follow peace with all men. With you all. The God of peace be with you all. Let us saints do what 15 says. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Um, Romans 14 and again said that he that, uh, 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 for he that in these things serve Christ is acceptable to God. Righteousness, peace, and joy. And you are approved of men. Let us follow peace. The God of peace be with you all. Is he with you? Chapter 16 now. Romans 16. And verse 20. Romans 16 and 20. Are we making peace? Are we peacemakers? Do we consider him when it's time for to, to follow peace, make peace with all men? Mm -hmm. Consider Christ and what he had to endure the contradiction of sinners for us to have peace with the Father again. Mm -hmm. Tempted at all points, but we're yet without sin. He became poor that we might become rich. Mm -hmm. Amen? Romans 16 and verse 20. And say, and the God, let me read verse 19. 
For your business is come abroad unto all men. See, the Roman church, the Apostle Paul closing this letter now, he, he heard of their obedience. Mm -hmm. Has come abroad up unto all men. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf, but yet I would have you wise unto that which is good. Be wise unto that which is good and simple or harmless concerning evil. And the God of peace mm -hmm. shall bruise or crush mm -hmm. Satan under your feet shortly. Amen. Who's going to do it? The God of peace. Mm -hmm. Our God is a God of peace. He's going to bring harmony and safety and health, amen, to our life, amen. Because we're able to live in peace and with peace because we have the peace of God, peace with God and the peace of God that comes through who? The Son. If you don't have peace in your life, evaluate where the Son is in your life. What's its priority in your life? If you're losing your peace in your life, what is the priority of the one who brought you peace? The one who opens the door for peace and reconciliation with the Father? Where is he on your agenda? Where is he on your list of part of things to do and be? The one who gives you his peace. My peace, I leave with you. I give it to you. Are you receiving it? Are you accepting it? If you if you have found yourself worrying more than praying and, and worrying more than having peace in your life, amen, I would ask you to look at where Jesus is in your life. You have any relationship issues with family and friends and co-workers and strangers. Even the birds are flying at you. Amen? You don't have peace with nature. I would encourage you to, amen, look at the one who's the, the prince of peace, the king of peace. Amen. The one who, who uh, peace he lead with us and give it to us. Amen. amen. Words like a rocking chair. <laughs> you can rock and rock and rock and nothing's going to change. All right, where are we? Romans, that was Romans. Mm -hmm. Amen. We, we, we're looking now at the God of peace. So I'm going to jump to Hebrews, the last chapter of Hebrews, chapter 13. Hebrews, chapter 13. Just want to couple these God of pieces together. Hebrews 13 and 20. Hebrews 13 and 20 reads, Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Who did it? The God of peace. What did he do? Brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus. Amen? Amen? And praise God that he, he raised him from the dead. Amen? Amen. Because, amen, Romans, this whole spot that I read it to you, Romans 5 and 10 says, for if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God, amen, by the peace that Jesus brought. We were reconciled to God by the death of his son, but, but much more. We were reconciled to God by the death of his son, but, but much more, even more so, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Amen? Amen? amen. We are reconciled, but we are saved by his life. And I thank God that as chapter 13 of Hebrew tells us that the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, amen? amen. That great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant. What does it do? Look at verse 21. The God of peace. What does he do for us? Make you perfect in every good work to do his will. Working in you, that which is well pleasing. Mm -hmm. Roman, uh, Philippians 1 and 6 tells us that he that began this good work in you mm -hmm. will finish it, will complete it. We can't follow peace with all men 
unless we have peace with the Father and the Son and understand that Jesus, amen, has given us this peace, amen? 1 mm -hmm. Corinthians 14. First Corinthians 14. Hmm. And verse 33. Yeah. 14 and 33. Let's look at it. God is not the author of confusion. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. But of peace. He's the author of what? Peace. Mm -hmm. To be in harmony. Safety. Tranquility. He's a, he's a, he brings, he reconciles. He doesn't separate. He's not the author of what? Confusion. Amen. But of peace. As in all the churches of the saints. That's what, amen, God want to see in the church of God. Peace. He's the author of peace. He's not the author of confusion. So we as children of God are peacemakers, are we not? Amen. Surely we must be peacemakers in the, peacemakers in the house of God. The house that he's laid down his life. I will build my church. And amen. There must be peacemakers in the church of God. Amen. amen. Because everyone is not going to agree on everything. So there need to be some peacemakers. Mm -hmm. And understand that this is his house. Mm -hmm. Consider him. Consider him what he endured for this house. Second Thessalonians. In chapter 3, Second Thessalonians 3 and 16. Second Thessalonians 3 and 16. We're covering a lot of passages and scriptures tonight, but that's okay. We're good, amen? amen. Second Thessalonians 3 and 16, and the reason of the Lord of peace. Do you see that? Yep. The Lord of peace himself mm -hmm. give you peace. Do you have it? Yes, Do you have that peace? Mm -hmm. Do you recognize that peace? Yes, Are you following peace and making peace with all men? Mm -hmm. For the Lord of peace himself give you peace. Mm -hmm. Always, by all means, or in every way. Mm -hmm. in, every, in every way means in every area of your life. The Lord of peace has given us this peace. He's given us this harmony, this safety, this, this health, amen, this, uh, amen, uh, 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 this reconciliation. The, the Lord of peace himself gives you peace, amen? Yeah. Who, who have we been looking to for peace? We can't look to others for peace until we first make contact with the Lord himself Amen. who gives us peace. The one who laid down his life for us that we can have peace with the Father. And, and yes, he will use people, places, and things to give you the peace you need, but we can't circumvent him, circumvent him and attempt to go and find and make and create our own peace. Amen. That's not the peace that he gives. That's the peace that the world gives. Amen. And it's going to cost you. First Peter. First Peter. For the sake of time, I'm going to go right to verse 11. Chapter 3. First Peter 3 and 11. Let him. All right. Let him. Him who? Well, I got to back up now. To verse 9, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrarywise blessing, knowing that ye are to that knowing that ye are there unto call, that ye should inherit a blessing, for he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil. See, we are peacemakers. Mm -hmm. So you refrain your tongue from evil and his lips that speak no guile. We don't speak deceit and slander. So let him turn from evil. It's you or turn from evil. What do we do? We turn from evil, do good, and let him seek 
What do we do? Seek peace. You pursue peace. You follow after peace. Diligently. Understanding that if peace comes from who? The Father and the Son. So we seek peace. Amen? When you want to turn from evil, you got to seek peace with God. You got to go to God to, to, to avoid this evil in this world. Let them seek peace and ensue it. Amen? Pursue it. We got to pursue peace. You have to make a, a, a effort, a valiant effort. Yes. Peace, just, peace don't just happen. Amen? Jesus had to make a sacrifice for the peace we have with the Father. Yeah. Did he not? Yeah. Yes, he made a sacrifice. Amen? We have to, amen, uh, make a sacrifice. Let them seek peace and pursue it. got to make a strong effort so that we can have peace with all men. Amen? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Peace with what? All men. I thank God that amen, we can what? Pursue. Pursuing his peace is pursuing what? Jesus. Yes. Amen? Chapter 9 of Mark, chapter 9 of Mark, and verse 50, it says, salt is good, but if that salt has lost its saltiness, well, with, uh, with what will you season it? Have salt in yourself. And have peace with one another. We, we got to have peace with everyone. Mm -hmm. You know what it says? Follow peace with all men. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says have salt in yourself. And have peace with one another. Amen. Mm -hmm. It's very important that we have peace with one another. As the body of Christ. Amen. Wow. Look at Romans 12 and and verse 18 quickly. Romans 12 and 18. Go there quickly. Romans 12 and verse 18. And it reads, very important. Romans 12 and 18. If it be possible, if it be possible, as much as lies in you, as much as it depends on you, live peaceably with all men. You know what the Bible says? Follow peace with all men. <laughs> Dearly beloved, verse 19, avenge not yourselves. Why? Because we're, we're living peaceably with all men. When you find yourself trying to avenge yourself, put yourself in the place of God, you're not attempting to live peaceably. Amen? Mm -hmm. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. See, vengeance belongs to the Lord. Amen? Therefore, if that enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, you shall heap coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. So if, you be, if you are overcome with evil, you've lost your peace. So our enemies, we are to what? Feed him. If he thirsty, give him something to drink. And be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. Let us, as, as much as it is possible, let, as much as it depends on you and I, saints, the Bible tells us we are to live peaceably with all men. Amen. Make every effort. Some, someone may not desire uh, to be reconciled to you. Amen? Amen? But as much as it depends on you, mm -hmm. because everyone didn't accept Jesus. But as much as it depends on him, he went to Calvary. He rose from the dead. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's going at, 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 unto the Father and offered his blood once in the holy place for all of us who believe and are sure that Jesus is the Christ. We can have what? Peace with God. Amen. But not everyone will. But Jesus, as much as it depended on him, he fulfilled what the Father called him to do. He did his Father's will. Did he not? Yes, yes he did. Amen. Look at now, if you would. Hmm. 
2 Corinthians 13 and 11 tells us to, to live in peace. Just write it down. 2 Corinthians 13 and 11 tells us to live in peace. Amen? Mm -hmm. Now, I have two minutes, and I want to go ahead to Colossians chapter 3, and we're done. Colossians chapter 3, chapter uh, 3 is and verse wow, 12. Let's look at it quickly. I have two minutes. Mm -hmm. Let's read. Put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another, forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. See, we talk about making peace. And above all things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. Do you see that? Now, verse 15. And let the peace of God rule in your heart. As we close tonight, saints, I want to encourage you, let the peace of God rule and have dominion, work as an umpire in your heart that we can follow peace with all men. Do you see that? Let the peace of God rule in your heart to the which also ye are called in one body and be ye thankful. Amen. I praise God for you tonight. I thank God for each and every one of you in social media land. Amen. That heard the word of God, took time out for the word of God tonight. Amen. Let the peace of God rule in your heart. Beginning tonight, tomorrow, follow peace with all men. We are peace with God and the peace of God. Amen. And we are to be well pleased to God and approved of men. You may not have thought how you live your life or, 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 or mattered, amen, to, to, to men. But God said it's well pleasing to God. If you are partake of the, amen, the righteousness, the peace, and the joy of the Holy Ghost, of the kingdom of God, you are pleasing to God and approved of men. Amen. They will say that is a, a woman of God. That's a true man of God. If we just make peace with all men. Amen. I thank God for you tonight, amen, that we, we can do it. I had someone tell me uh, uh, during my work career, amen, he came up to me and said, how do you do it? I'm like, do what? He said, I know you know what we're trying to do to you. I know you know what we're trying to do to you. And you're not, you're not even responding. You're still just being you. I was making peace with all men. See, I had made peace with God. Amen. I had given it to God. They couldn't understand how I could walk amongst them, live among them, and, 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 and eat with them, and, 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 and support them, and encourage them, and promote them. Amen. Even though I knew what they were trying to do to me, but I knew God. Amen. So much so that they asked me, how? I know they just came up. I know you know what we're trying to do to you. But I never responded. I talked to God. I made peace with God. And follow peace with all men. And God brought me through. Amen. 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 He'll bring you through. If you just trust God. Whatever situation you're going through. God sees it. He saw, he saw Job. Yes. Amen. Did he not? Yes, he did. Amen. He'll see you. Just call upon him. Don't, don't charge God foolishly. Amen. Follow peace with all men. I thank God for you tonight. Give God a praise. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. God is good. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name for the word tonight. We give all praise, honor, and glory unto you. We thank you, Father God, that the word is healing our heart. And that we might not sin against you. As you order our steps in this word, may you receive the glory, the honor, and the praise. Bring this word to our remembrance in a time of preaching and teaching, witnessing and testifying. In a time of trial, trouble, tribulation. Bring this word to our remembrance that we can follow peace with all men. That we could come boldly to the throne of grace, amen, and come to the kingdom of heaven, amen, for there is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father, for the victory we have in your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, that we have this peace, that he's given us this peace, not the peace that the world gives, but his peace. He's given it to us. And I want to encourage the saints tonight that we, from this day forward, this night forward, that we receive this peace. We understand this peace we have with God. Through his son, by his blood, we had a peace of God and peace with God. In Jesus' name, amen.
Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I thank God for you tonight. I ask that you.